Hi, my name is Helene. Hi, my name is Lova. And we are queer woodworkers. After a hectic but amazing summer of traveling back and forth, I spent a full week relaxing with my partner in the countryside where he lives. I also couldn't resist filming a little bit while there. So in this video, we're going to meet his neighbors and our friends Lova and Helene. And they're going to talk about their company, Snikweri. My name is Helene Majer. I'm 30 years old and I live in uh, Dalslånged in Dalsland. I am a woodworker, a mom. And my name is Lova Eberg and uh, I also live here in Dalslånged with Helene. And I'm a woodworker and I'm a mom too and a queer person. So we have a business together. So we both do like fine woodworking but we also work with green wood and then we have a separatistic Portrait. courses yeah. for women, non-binary people and trans people. And then we call ourselves yeah. Snickweri, which is a uh, playing with words. Queer and Snickeri. And Snickeri means woodworking. Yeah. So those two combined is Snickweri. Apart from being amazing woodworkers themselves and working with making stuff for people and companies, they also organize these separatistic evening and weekend courses. We have courses and we want to make a more like a safer place for people to explore woodworking and green woodworking and yeah, a place where you feel that you can do wrong or you can ask and you can be yourself. You don't have to like defend your like identity. Yeah, because we have um, experienced before when we went to uh, different courses that it's hard to be there relaxed. You need yeah. to defend yourself and uh, it's hard to ask a question and you get uh, in, insecure. And when we went to that kind of courses together, <laughs> I felt we can do this so much better. We need to make this happen. Because it's a very like male dominated work field. And Lova has dreamt of working with wood for a long time. And I always wanted to be a woodworker, but uh, I haven't uh, really tried to pursue that dream uh, because I'm a girl and I shouldn't do that and uh, blah blah blah, everything that. When we moved here together and went to Stenby Skolan, it felt more um, now the time was right. I'm older and I have and your... And we did it together. And we did it together. Because yeah. we went to the school at the same time but different courses. And in that way you found your love to the woodworking too. Yeah. Before we moved here we lived in Gothenburg and uh, we went to like evening courses where we... Well for me I tried woodworking and you have done it before so... Mm -hmm. I, I, I knew that I loved it. But that's how I found it as well. And I yeah, immediately fell in love with, with wood and uh, the, the craft, which was nice to yeah. like, explore it by myself, but also with you. So after these courses and then two years of studies, they finally graduated and started this company together. And the fact that they do it together means a lot to them. Working together means uh, that I feel braver. Yeah, I, me too. I, yeah, I feel that I can do everything when I'm with Helene uh, because you're so supportive and I, when I feel insecure when we're in the room I can just watch at you and I feel okay it's cool yeah we just can like it changed uh... yeah yeah <laughs> you have a lot of uh, ideas and uh, you're very creative and you're very good at doing the last finish uh, so it thinks we do will be really great maybe I come and say, I have this idea, we just yeah, do it right learn. now. <laughs> Push. Yeah, you're very fast Yeah, I'm a lot a of ideas. Yeah, fast. Which fast. is great as well. I just start. Yeah. And then you can come and, oh, wait, now we can fi fix here, we can fix here. And it's fun to work together. Yeah, yeah. I like it as well. It's uh, so much fun. And I also, I feel a safer, braver. I feel like I can do anything and I'm allowed to, to try everything yeah. when I'm with you. They both experience an atmosphere within these fields of work that they don't appreciate. I've been in workshops where there is, I feel like I have to like watch over my shoulder. Yeah. I can feel that I'm, I just like become someone else almost. And uh, as soon as uh, they leave, I'm on my own or together with just um, 
not cis men, but other people. I just, I grow yeah. and I dare to try things and I dare to do, like be creative. Mm. So they also want to provide this safer environment for the people attending their courses. The thing you're talking about, growth, that can we see uh, with the people who in the courses. Yeah. Maybe the first day or the first hours, people are ooh, really nervous and yeah. like, oh, I have never tried this and I'm not good at this. Mm -hmm. And we try to take yeah. that away and say... And all the prestige. Yeah, all like the prestige. It, we yeah. are here to try, we're here to... Uh, you don't need to be finished with anything. You, you're here to just try it out. Yeah. And then you can see how the people are growing. Just yeah. in, in a weekend. And um, people are saying, Oh, I found my new hobby or my new thing. Yeah. And I feel so empowerment. Yeah. yeah. And stuff like that. Because here in Sweden, like, uh, we have uh, like obligated woodworking in school when we're young. So a lot of people have like tried woodworking back then, but have like horrible memories mm. from being in, in school and, and doing woodwork. So when they come to us, they're always like, yeah, I did it then, but that was a bad experience. And they really love doing these courses as a break from working in their own workshop. For us, it's so much fun to have these courses, to like meet people. Like one of the reasons that we're doing it is just, just for our for own us, sake. Yeah. yeah, we're doing it for them. Uh, because it's so wonderful with woodworking, but also for us, because yeah. it's so nice to meet other people who are, want to explore. Yeah, and we can also be in that separatistic uh, room, we, because when we are in our own workshop, uh, we meet other people who like this man. Yeah, yeah, we share a workshop with other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and then it's so, so nice room. to be there with you. Yeah. So that's yeah. Like, like we're always together. Yeah, we're always together. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. That would be like a tip from us. To be together. Yeah, to like join, yeah. arm with someone and like do it together. Do because it, it together. can be very scary to do it or by yourself. Or find people who are doing it and do it together. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. like, it only takes like one other person to make it a safer space. Like you need just like someone allied. Then it's easier. Yeah, that's my experience yeah. anyway to like just I just need one another person to that I can like exchange the look with and like yeah oh that was roll yeah. my eyes too or something when someone yeah. says something stupid and they think that a more diverse representation of people working with wood is important in the field of woodworking it's almost six men working with it they they have um, norms and ways to be that is uh, not nice <laughs> and is harmful for everyone it's important to have a place where people who doesn't have the, um, the access to this woodworking room can try it out so they can go to that room and be more confident and uh, make that room more yeah. diverse. Yeah, so that's why well, like, we want to be seen and like show who we are to invite more people so that other people can see that like it's possible like you can you can work with this and you can uh, do this yeah because and like we have to change the field we have to invite more people to yeah who with knows other, what can happen yeah, to with the, other val values and yeah. other thoughts and other ways to uh, look, look at things finally a short reflection of where they are now. It's like a dream coming true to do this. <laughs> yeah, we w w when we moved here, we, you talked about, oh, we should do like something called snickwiri. Oh, it would be nice. I was like, mm, we will see. I don't know. I, I felt like uh, insecure. Yeah. And then I growth and now, and then we, we, um, and also it's like someone has to do it. Yeah, someone has to do it. So we just... We like, just did it. <laughs> yeah. If you enjoyed watching that video, please like, comment, subscribe and share the video. I really appreciate you showing your love in that way. If you also want to support the channel financially, that's possible via Patreon, but really no pressure. See you next time.